This is Jupiter Today for the 21st of February, 2015. Jupiter Today is a daily podcast focusing attention on the dynamic Jupiter system for the purpose of monitoring activity. At zero hours UTC, EO begins the day in quadrant one, heading east, pretty near its eastern elongation. Europa starts the day in quadrant two, heading west. Ganymede spends all day in quadrant one, heading east, and Callisto spends all day in quadrant one, heading east. The blue line here is the line of sight to Earth, and the gray line is the line of sight to the Sun. So from our point of view, as you can see, Io and Europa and Ganymede and Callisto are all to the east of Jupiter. At 6 hours UTC, EO is now in quadrant 2, heading west. And Europa is still in quadrant 2, heading west. At 7.54, Europa goes through an apogee, the furthest distance it will be from Jupiter in this orbit. And that's 677,234.1 kilometers. And at 8.41 UTC, EO goes through a perigeove, the closest it'll be to Jupiter, and that's 420,023 kilometers. At 12 hours UTC, EO is still in quadrant 2 heading west, but going to be moving in front of Jupiter, transiting Jupiter. And at 18 hours UTC, EO has successfully transited Jupiter and is now in quadrant 3 heading west, and Europa is now transiting Jupiter. And by zero hours UTC tomorrow, EO has just passed its western elongation and is now in quadrant four heading east. Europa is now firmly in quadrant three heading west. Ganymede is very, very close to its eastern elongation and Callisto is also moving up on its eastern elongation. There are eight Jupiter satellite mutual events today. At 11.50 UTC, EO begins its transit of Jupiter. At 12.11, the shadow of EO ingresses. At 14.07 UTC, the transit of EO ends. And at 14.29, the shadow of EO egresses. At 16.10 UTC, the transit of Europa begins, and at 16.55, the shadow of Europa ingresses. At 19.05 UTC, the transit of Europa ends, and at 19.50, the shadow of Europa egresses. There are no satellite mutual events today, so we'll go right to the orbital ribbons. And these are just lines that I've connected between the four Galilean moons at the same time. So that's the connection between Io and Europa. And Io and Ganymede. Io and Callisto. And then Europa and Ganymede. It's a nice twist there. and Ganymede and Callisto. And I combine them all and colorize them to get that. All right, 24 hours of Jupiter's sky, standing on the equator of Jupiter, just above the clouds at longitude zero degrees, and we'll see what is happening in Jupiter's sky over the next 24 hours. I mentioned that all four moons are to the east of Jupiter, and you can see that they indeed all are. There goes Io passing in front of Europa on its way to 
transiting from Earth's point of view. Europa's going to be right behind it, as you can see. And Ganymede is going to be passing in front of Callisto. That's a nice long passage, because Ganymede moves relatively slowly. Would be nice to see that, and hopefully someday some of us will be able to see that. But for now, we just get to simulate it. The red spot crosses Jupiter's meridian twice today. The first at 9.48 and the second at 19.44 UTC. There were no new images, but there was some new radio data posted on the 20th of February at the UT time shown. And there were no new papers. So at zero hours UTC today, the position of Jupiter on Earth's celestial sphere is a right ascension of 9 hours, 13 minutes, 19.9 seconds and a declination of positive 17 degrees, 6 minutes, 12.4 seconds. The angular separation between Jupiter and the Sun today is 163.734 degrees, and that's 1.13 degrees less than what it was yesterday. The phase angle, which is the angle between the Earth and the Sun as seen from Jupiter, is 2.977 degrees, and that's 0 0.202 degrees greater than what it was yesterday. The distance between Earth and Jupiter is 655,264,539 kilometers, and that's 663,815 kilometers greater than what it was yesterday. And that gives a radial velocity between Jupiter and the Earth of 27,658.96 kilometers per hour moving away from one another. That's primarily due to the motion of the Earth around the Sun. And that velocity is 1,898.08 kilometers per hour greater than what it was yesterday. So the Earth appears to be moving away from Jupiter at an ever-increasing speed. It's accelerating away from Jupiter. The distance between Jupiter and the Sun is 798,344,925 kilometers, and that's 45,755 kilometers greater than what it was yesterday. And that gives a radial velocity of 1,906.46 kilometers per hour, and that's 0.46 kilometers per hour greater than what it was yesterday. At zero hours UTC, the central meridian, CM1, 196.38 degrees, CM2, 102.73 degrees, CM3, 15.05 degrees. Time of this recording is 1.22 UTC on the 21st of February, 2015. So please subscribe, and thank you to those who are subscribing. Make sure to tell everybody that you know to watch this podcast and listen. If you have any questions or comments or suggestions to make this podcast better, I would like to hear them. And you can send those and your images to the email shown. And until tomorrow, I bid you peace.